Okay, back. I uh, had a little conver phone ring. So, uh, okay, so we're working on the mountain here. Again, and you, know, you don't want a lot of paint on here. It makes it harder to do the next layer. You know, we can do that. You can scrape it off. You can leave it on here if you want. Just have some fun with it. Yeah, it's got a little more of a peak on it. You know, little ridges here and there. There. What are they called? The Tetons? I ain't the Tetons, so. Okay. So that's easy. You make the ridge and you're good. And now, then you come up here and you grab this brush. Let's see here. I guess I can use this one too. It's kind of, and I'm going to pull some of this color out just to knock some of it off. Okay. And that will make it easier for the next, for your highlights. Okay. There, wipe that off. I just usually wipe it on something. And then as you do that, you can kind of pull this down and just kind of let the blend down. There. And just kind of pull the mountain this way. Maybe it's going to be coming this way. Sometimes they're easier. I'm not going to have any water in this. We can put some good highlights in it, but that's a pretty good looking mountain. I always like to get back and take a look at it, you know, from a distance and stuff. And you kind of step back and, and see how things go. Okay, so we got our mountain. Now we're going to do some highlights and I'm going to use the, the knife today on that. So, but today on these highlights, I'm going to get some brown. There's my white right there. Take some white. Can you see that? I know I'm probably, probably a little blurry, but and we'll get some brown in there. A little of this yellow ochre. How's that look? A little more yellow ochre in there. Don't overmix it. And then just grab it, tap just a little bit. You can go that way or you can go this way. Just get a little roll on there. And we're going to kind of see how what direction we want to go, but Maybe I'll just start more distant first. And so I'm going to kind of, oh, maybe this guy's in the distance, the farthest. Start with this one. Heck. See how much paint I got on there? Just pull that down and just let it break. There you go. You don't need much. And it's going to be kind of difficult. And then you get the shakes like I do today. Pull that down. Just, just make cutting on there and making it come across. See that? And just and it, sometimes it's better to blur your eyes out and, and look at your painting and see how it looks. Come up here, pull up there. Try to make it break though. I think there's a lot of paint on there, but that's okay. Get a little more. Maybe that comes all the way down in front. See, and just touch if you have to, just barely touching. See that, and it'll break. Just have fun. The knife makes it easy. Okay. Come down or open it up a little bit. So you have a nice angle on there. I'd like to just checking it out. So looks good. And I might do some editing on this one so it has a little more. So you can get a little, uh, um, you can get a little um, close-ups of it. This is farther away than I normally do. I'm just grabbing some yellow ochre now, just mixing some color in there, just letting it bounce. See that? A little bit there. Maybe I want this mountain to kind of come this way. See that? There we go more and then maybe it comes down here there's a ridge there that's what I want to do watch this one here just grab it like that pull there's your ridge and it just kind of comes down there kind of pulls you can see where that point comes out maybe right here one more in there I'll try to keep it so it breaks so they look better but there you have your Kind of your highlights, and I think the whole, you can come in and do a tiny little bit right here, sneaking through, just touching. Yeah, 
Maybe a little bit back there. And, yeah, just a tiny bit there, not much. There, see that? Then, let's wipe the knife off, and then we're going to grab some blue. Some of that color we had. Maybe a little of that. And then we'll get some white. See, I'm just mixing these up. And that'll be our shadow color right there. And it already looks like it'll be a good shadow color. You just come in here and you can find these shadows. Don't you don't want to kill it all, but little shadows and stuff. Grab it and pull it down. Sometimes it's easier to go and just grab it and pull, you know, come in here. See that little blue in there? Looks good. And come up here and do the same thing. You just, you know, and just kind of, sometimes you can do it this way up here, maybe. Just grab it and pull. If you want something like that. Just pull it over. A little more up here. Just touch. Soft. Barely touching. See, so there you got your shadow side. So you can see where the blue and the, the lights come in from here. And then you can always come in, take that same thing, and maybe there's a little ridge here. Pull it down. See that? Gives a little more. Looks kind of cool. Maybe a little bit there. It's a tough one that you gotta come in and there, push it that way. And you can come back in with your with your highlights too and and uh put those back in maybe a little bit there you know you just pull them the opposite direction there and something like that so i think that looks fine i think our mountains are fine just like that it's a good looking mountain you can't you don't want to work them too much so this is just a beginner painting so it doesn't matter okay and then i'm going to come in with this one I don't know what to do. So i'm going to get a clean brush i don't want to dirty that up I have one. Oh, brand new. <laughs> and what I want to do is just tap or pull all your angles. See? Pull the angles. Pull it down. Because if you miss the bottom, okay, and it just gives you that little misty look. And you have that there. Okay. And we can come in, maybe have a little, you know, some color down here. Some blues, that, that blue's nice. And then maybe we have a, a ridge down here. See this? Trees. You gotta keep that mist in there. And that'll help, you know, create a little brown in there. I don't know, doesn't matter. Okay, little ridge. It's back there, maybe it comes up. Little trees way back there. So that I'm just tapping, just tapping on there and creating that that little that little ridge there. And then you can come in and let me pull some of these up. Just it gives you little indications of trees back there. Let's see a little mess that kind of separates it. Now what I want to do next is I've got this dark brush that I use. I'm take that. I want to get some brown on there, just mixing some of that blue, get some red in there. Okay. Oh, get a little green in there. We're going to have some foreground here. And I'm just going to make a bunch of, I'm going to make a, you see, kind of pulls your eye there. And then we're going to come over here. And what I should do first, okay, is just take this, a clean brush, or clean enough, this will work, I think. Just tap some of this down. Before I do that, and that'll give you some mist there. See that? Mist under there. Kind of mist that distance out. This is painting 101. You can do this if you want to. This is an easy one to start with. You know, the mountains can be a little tough, but you work on the knife, you'll you you can figure it out. So and then we're gonna come back here and just tap in some dark. Okay make it look like grass see dark some more of that blue some brown I'm just mixing all this together okay 
Okay, green. We can grab more paint if we need it. Some red in there. Red and green makes brown. But you want this to be dark because you want it to. And sometimes if you have like a, you put the black cam, you put black under here. Okay. This is an easy painting. Try it. Send me a video. Or send, send me a video. Send me a picture if you do it because it's uh, pretty simple to do. You can do these. So you want to get a little more red in there, some blue. I'm just globbing dark paint, you know, and I don't want, I want it to have texture, so I'm not going to go back and forth. But what we're trying to do here is, there, I'm just grabbing what I can here. Green, making a mess on my, see? It's fun. If you put dark under here, it'd be, you know, you, could, you wouldn't have to, you could do this with a with acrylic or black gesso. Pretty easy to do. Green, brown. I'm just grabbing what I can off here. There's a lot of paint on here. So highlights might be challenging, maybe. I don't know. And this is just a... It's going to be a hill in front of everything. Pretty basic. Okay. And I don't know if I want to... I'm going to do it differently. We're going to push it back even farther. I see what I want to do is there exactly what I want. Okay. And you'll see when I put the trees in how, how much it's going to make. Kind of looks like it's coming downhill here. How's that look on the video? I only got like some 42 minutes of recording time on this card. So I got to be careful. Okay, and then you can pull up a little bit here. I don't know. We can kind of pull these up a little. I don't want these to look like trees. I want to look like grass and stuff, you know, here. So, okay, there we go. So next thing I'm going to do is we got to do some trees. And I don't know. I'm going to get a fan brush. I'm going to use this big fan brush today. And I'm going to have to mix some more color up, kind of. Oops. So I'm going to take and try to just grab a bunch of blues and greens and red and try to mix some of this and make a just a tree color. So give me a second here. You might have to, I'm going to probably have to load some more paint. Maybe not. Get some brown. All that dark paint. I'm going to just put it into one and that'll be my background. I'll, I'll throw some more color in it maybe for them, but I'm going to get some more green in there. Actually, I'm going to use this. Uh, yeah, I know I have a bunch of it, but there's the sap green I'll use. There's some more sap green. I have the soil green, which I don't use a lot. Sorry, guys. Is that it? No. It's hiding somewhere in here. Olive green. That'll work for these trees. I'm going to add some olive green. A bunch of that in there. And I'm just mixing up a color for my trees. Here, okay. see, that'll be all right there. <laughs> that'll be a good tree color. And we'll get the fan brush. Where's it at? There it is. And I don't know if we're going to need any medium or not, but this is just a big fan brush. Okay, and then you can come in and we're going to put some trees in here. And all I'm going to do is start right about there. That's a pretty good start. And when you're doing these, you can just get a nice top. And I don't know, I just, you find out what side of the brush you like. And just smash them in. Okay. Now you just smash them in. Go side to side. They don't need to be, you know. And then you come down. I'm going to need a little bit of paint thinner on them, probably. Or just more paint. We'll see. I'll get some more of that green on there. Smush that in there. Lots of paint on there. Get some red in there, too. It's going to... I'll put a little um, crimson in there. And that'll make it a little darker. That's a good color. Get some crimson in there. Ah! Oops. Just dropped it on my 
other painting I'm working on. That's all right. We'll fix it. Okay. There, I'll cover up. Okay, I'm just taking that green, some crimson in there. Dark. You know, open the brush up a little bit. Come back up here. There. And over here, you can create some limbs. If you don't like it, you can make it bigger. Okay. Just getting it on the brush. Let's do another one here. And then just... Okay. Come in. So I usually start in the middle. Just make some raggedy looking trees. You're just tapping. Okay. And you come up here and just... Okay. These are... We don't work too hard on these. These are just... And then, I don't know, I want to leave that kind of open. Let's come over here and do one. And just, okay. And just tap. And you can, you know, kind of prune the brush this way if you want to get a little more control. Put some there. Okay. And then you can come over here and same thing. Leave them a little area at the top. You can get a smaller one for the top. You can get in trouble trying to make them too much at the top. Okay, so you've got some nice little trees there. There's three there. Let me put a few small ones down. Okay, I don't want to kill all the all the the, the stuff here. I want to. I want that mountain to stand out. Maybe we can do one here. I don't know. There's a smaller one here. Okay. A little touch Come over here okay and there's four so we'll just put another one just to yeah and you can just do whatever on these you can kind of go side to side and then some trees in here maybe just some little side ones you know, just to boom there you go so maybe there's a little path going back there okay that there and what we can do with the path now since I was thinking about that is I'll grab a my knife where to go this easy way to you know do a path or something you can come in here and you just there's a little paint on there scrape a little path out Maybe it comes right here okay this kind of goes this way so we'll take that, and then I just need some, I got brown, get some white, some brown, oof, yellow ochre maybe, have some of that color. Oops, I don't want purple. So I'll get some yellow ochre and some of that. I don't know, come in here and just make a little path. Maybe I do want some purple. There. Don't look too bad. I'm just using what I got. So I just go back and forth. We can turn this into water too. I didn't think about that. But see that? Just using some different colors. Kind of matches the sky a little bit from the palette, huh? All right. That comes down. You know, maybe get some light in there. Let's see what we got. Oh, some more. Just going back and forth. Our little path there. And gives you an idea. Something's coming. You can walking around. You know, this could be Glacier Park. Glacier's got some good stuff up there. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I need another brush. I'm gonna have to get a different one here because I am getting close. So I'm on a nice clean brush, and I'm gonna have to get a little paint thinner on it though. So but what I'm gonna do here is grab some yellow. See this yellow? It's gonna be. And it's going to mix here, so watch this. Or some green. I'll get some of that. Where's my sap green at? Okay. Get a little sap green, too. A lot, but there. Because I'm going to use this probably for some. There, I'm just getting some highlight color here, okay? And maybe these trees, you know, you can just... See, on these trees, you can use this brush to do some highlights. 
make some not need to be see there need some more yellow I'm just trying to make some indications don't go down all the way to the bottom of the tree I kind of see say that one might go there and these little distant ones you know and then you can just start smashing in color pretty simple I'm gonna need some more yellow it's funny how I lose I need some more green too but I'm just trying to put some highlights on here and this one's just about done but it's an easy way to make a, a little see I'm just tapping in there and then watch a little bit here you got to bury this path a little bit right Get a little more highlight in the trees like green and yellow a bit in there there some color in here smash it in darker at the bottom and just be loose see that easy come over here push that path in we might put some more stuff. you know kind of pushing in because this is wet pull that path over bury it Okay, a little bit here maybe. I don't know. There's that tree coming down. You put a little there, a little dark on the bottom. Lighten those up a little. Okay, so you got a nice little, nice little painting there that has some pretty cool. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, what else could we put in there to make it a little? Anything else we could do? Oh, I have an idea. Okay. I want to take some white. Since we're going to do this, I want to take some white, more white, and some brown. So I'm just going to take the white and get myself some. Let's see. Where's my brown? Where did I put it? I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Shut off the. I'll just do dark sienna. I'm just going to use a. Okay, some dark sienna instead. And I'm going to get the knife. I should get some black in there too, but I'm just going to grab that. Okay, I'm going to come over here. And let's see, maybe, maybe, maybe. There's a. I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to use the liner brush I have. I could use this one. Okay. I come in here and let's do a. Uh, we'll come down here. Just touch it a little. I know I wasn't going to cover the mountain, but this is going to be. And I just put in a little birch tree, I think. I'm going to pull it. I'm just touching, pulling up. Okay, a little that dark maybe too. Come over here and just pull it from this side. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? And just keep going up. There, a little birch tree there. I'll make them a little stronger at the bottom, maybe. Let's see. There. See that? Now, it's simple when you're doing these. You just grab some white. Okay. A little bit of white. I'm going to put a little of that color. I don't know. I'm going to try to gray it a little. So, And then we're just going to come in here. <laughs> grab and pull. Pull from one direction. Try to round it. See that? Get too much paint on there, just a little tiny bit, and just come in and pull it, try to round it up. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty good looking little birch tree for taking no time, maybe. Go there. A little more in there. You can use black too, I don't know. 
we'll put some limbs on it, but it really kind of makes the painting stick out, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty good. And then I'm on the other side, I'm going to get some blue. Do I have any blue left? There's some blue there. There's my blue. I have some, there it is. Some blue and white. There. A little blue. Some white on there. I'm going to add some blue to that. Okay. Just some little blue on this side. Come over here, and we'll say this is the shadow side. See? 